What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be working on something a little bit different. Uh, a new class of card, not this one. But, I ended up getting, just watch. A 2016 Mercedes CLA 250. That's unfortunately crashed. So we got quite a bit of work to do here. You already know this is going to be one of those videos where we rebuild and make it better than stock, obviously. Because, I mean, this car has potential. These things are good looking from the factory. Don't get me wrong. So, I mean, I got it covered up right now just because I'm waiting on the keys to get here. So the windows are down. And I don't want, you know, weather to get in there and snow and rain because we are in December almost, so. Um, so, as you can see from, from the damage, we need to get a lot of stuff off today. Um, I'm just going to start working on this thing, see what I can get off, what I need to get ordered. Because the next video you guys see, I want to hopefully just have everything and start putting stuff on. Today, I have to get on the oil pan because the people that shipped the car thought it was a good idea to forklift the car from the front. So if you look back here, they cracked my oil pan. So yeah, that's nice. So, got to get an oil pan in there so that I can get the car filled with fluids and moving around. Um... So today we're doing that and I'm gonna start disassembling the whole front end so we got to get headlights off crash bar off intercooler off start getting uh, tie rods are broken so get tie rods in um, after that it's pretty much it though so let's stop wasting time and let's get to it all right guys we got the car in the air as far as it's gonna go and so let me show you guys a little bit better so that's the damage of the company where I bought this car from this is what they caused because the car has no keys so they had to forklift it off, off of the truck and they did this to it so and they're not helping me out whatsoever with this scenario they're te technically telling me I'm screwed so I guess we're gonna have to deal with this but I'm gonna get that off real quick get this intercooler off actually let's start with the front end the front end is gonna be a little bit easier better time lapse for you guys anyway I'll take care of the uh, oil pan once it starts getting dark so let's set this up real quick and let's get to it
so far we got let's see here we got a couple things already here uh, we got oil mobile one none of this is sponsored so don't you know so we got oil uh, mobile one none of this is sponsored so yeah just just so you know um what are these oh all the moog parts are for the speed that's for another video and here we got tie rod inner tie rod we got a brand new inner tie rod to replace the one that snapped and then we got the boots here um, and then new oil pan right here and I just got this part the teeth this is either pieces of plastic for the bumper or it's probably the bumper support brackets part of the frame rail yep so I got pieces of the frame rail right here these so gotta get replaced the other ones are crunched up right around here where my thumb is so we gotta replace these with the nice new ones and they gave us a Harry's uh, coupon or whatever nice I finished putting on the oil pan um, I torqued it down to spec and whatnot and made sure that it was torqued down at the correct sequence Give me a second. So yeah, let me show you what I got done so far. So, so far we got all the bolts around. Torqued down. I got the sensor put back in. That's torqued. Sensor plugged in and whatnot. And I got the AC bolted back onto the oil pan. Um, now all I gotta do is put this uh, like CV axle like bracket back on this guy right here. That goes bolted on to the engine block and up there. So I gotta put that back on. And then once that's back on, I can put the CV axle back in and then we're done on this side. Actually no, serpentine. Serpentine motor mount and we're done on this side. And then we can move to this side and work on this so for now like I said I'm gonna just do that real fast since I have all the bolts right there and we're gonna get that done real fast all right so I got this CV axle back in um, all bolted up and everything got the bracket back on over there and now we're gonna do the serpentine and the motor mount real fast so let's get to that one I got all the suspension done on the passenger side just still gotta button up little things like the caliper and sway bar and link and whatnot uh, driver side we got the knuckle off we got the lower control arm off we're putting in the new one now And we're starting to button up the top portion. I got the downpipe back in and the uh, intake back on the uh, car. Here's the fender in all its glory. Got to do a little bit of correction right about here in the tip. Um, I think I'm going to try to secure it before I do that. And here's the other headlight. This is a used headlight, of course. Um, so it was broken at the bottom. Oop, right there. So I just put some JB weld. It's not gonna hurt it, so. Um, and then I do need to buy new light bulbs, so. though. This thing came with zero light bulbs. So I kind of just borrowed one from the other one just to make sure that it was working. But tomorrow I'll get some new light bulbs for that. And then try to line it up with this fender right now. Um, doubt that it will line up, honestly, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's get these fenders. This one fixed up real quick. 
and then um, I'm not I'm not gonna show that process just because I don't have a lot of memory on my SD card right now so yeah I'll fix this little problem right here that it has this is pulled out and then we'll try test fitting both headlights I'll try to mess with this side as much as I can um, if I have to and we'll go from there from that one and yeah so let me kind of just fix that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all buttoned up and put on on this little corner piece right here on both sides this side's a little deformed just from the plastic molding and whatnot um, but yeah let me show you what it looks like. So gonna mess with the gap a little bit, but this is pretty pretty good. It's pretty flush and consistent all around. Except this, I gotta push that in a little bit, but that side's not done. Um, this side looks good, except the Loper could come out a little bit on this side, but over here, it's pretty fine. Here's the front end on the car, finally actually put together for once and actually having a front end and whatnot. So everything lined up pretty good and same amount of gap on both sides. So. That kind of works out a lot for us so luckily enough we got the grill so now I just got to figure out how to make this actually you know what I mean like just like and then once I figure out how that goes on here because you have to kind of like press and twist or some something like that we're gonna put it on the car Kind of concerned a little bit about it just because it kind of i don't know it kind of looks like it's not gonna fit but we don't know until we try right so i'm gonna get the bumper off so that we can put the grill on and then once the bumper's off i'll try to get the emblem on and yeah then we'll start sanding that quarter panel um right here so we can get this nice and painted and primered up and ready for vinyl. And then I'll probably keep debadging these guys. So enough talking, let's get to it. All right, guys, well, I got all the body work pretty much done. Just gotta wait for it to dry so that I can sand it. So we're gonna do a shave emblem in the back. It has three little holes. I did put some um, metal in the back of this. That's why that's all off over there. It's all taken apart. Um, but yeah, we ended up putting some metal with some JB weld in the back, kind of ghetto, but who cares? It's gonna hold and it will hold. Then we're gonna get all this excess off later when I sand it down. I sand this down. I found some cracks on here. We just used some glazing putty. We didn't even use bondo for that. Um, got some bondo here in the bottom that I still need to kind of sand down and do a double coat. This one is pretty much good. Just gotta wait for that to dry better. So right now it's kind of tacky, kind of, and I just went over it with the. Uh, with the, I don't know, cheese grater thing, whatever, for Bondo. All right, so yeah, so there's that.